Hello, this is a pendulum sitting at its equilibrium position. And this shows a pendulum swinging, doing a simple harmonic motion between its two extreme positions. I have a question for you. How long does it take for the pendulum to swing from this extreme position to the half amplitude position? So this is the amplitude, right? So this is exactly half the amplitude. How long does it take for the pendulum to swing from the extreme position to the half amplitude position? Is the answer one eighth of a period? Does it take one eighth of a period for it to go from here to here? Now, to go wheel, wheel is one period, right? So to go wheel is half a period, right? And to go wee is a quarter of a period, right? So to go from here to the exactly midway point, one eighth of a period, right? Wrong! Ha ha ha, gotcha! This graph should illustrate why. So to go from the extreme position to the other extreme and back to the same uh, original position is one period. To go from the extreme position to the other extreme position is half a period. To go from the extreme position to the equilibrium position is a quarter of a period. But to go from the extreme position to the half amplitude position is not one eighth of a period. Simple harmonic motion is not constant speed motion, yo. It always travels more slowly near the extreme positions compared to when it's swinging past the equilibrium position. And that's why it takes more than one eighth of a period to go from extreme position to the half amplitude position. And it takes less than one eighth of a period to go from the half amplitude position to the equilibrium position. So if it's not one eighth, what exactly is this? Now let me check something with you. Are you aware that cosine 60 degrees is half and sine 30 degrees is half? Yes, huh? You need to have these numbers in your head huh? to understand the rest of the video. So let's talk about a simple sinusoidal function y is equal to sine x which uh, swings between negative 1 and 1 and has 360 degrees for one cycle. From here to here is 60 degrees. Why? Cosine 60 degrees is half, you know? So if this is 60 degrees, then this must be 30 degrees because 90 minus 30, yeah? So we can figure out, oh, this is 60 degrees, this is 30 degrees, this is 30, 60, 60, 30, 30, and 60. Alternatively, you could have stared at this uh, part of the graph here and figure out that this is 30 degrees. Why? Sine 30 degrees is half, right? So if this is 30, this must be 60. And therefore, 60, 30, 30, 60, 60, 30, 30, and 60. Now let's go back to our simple harmonic motion which swings between negative x naught and x naught and where we have one period for one cycle. So can you see now that to go from the extreme position to the half amplitude position is actually 60 degrees out of 360 degrees of one period. So that's one sixth of a period. Whereas to go from the half amplitude position to the equilibrium position takes 30 degrees out of 360 degrees of one period, which means one twelfth of a period. So to go from here to here is one sixth of a period. To go from here to here is one twelfth of a period. One twelfth, one sixth, one sixth, one twelfth, one twelfth, and one sixth. Ah, the answer is not one eighth of a period because SHM is not constant speed motion, yeah? SHM has a very sexy curve. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!